Joker and the Badger. Hey everyone, it is the Angry Honey Badger here, and it is time for another champion build video today. We're going to be playing as Morgana support. So what we're going to do in this video is talk a little bit about everything you might need to know if you're looking to play Morgana support, or if you're just looking um, at other ways to play uh, Morgana as a support. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about her items, we're going to talk about some strategy behind playing Morgana support, um, your abilities, runes, and your masteries, and a little, just a little bit about everything in this video. Uh, 12-ish minute video. So, starting off with her abilities so we know what we're talking about. Your passive is Soul Siphon, which means you actually just have Spell Vamp passively. It's kind of nice. You can kind of keep yourself, um, just keeping yourself a little bit of health in lane by landing abilities and just throwing down your Tormented Soil. So, um, it's pretty nice. At level 1, we're going to put a point actually into our Q, which is our Dark Binding. You're going to fire out a bolt dark energy. If it hits them, which it will hit this Velkaz in a second after he gets a little greedy, we're going to lock him down with it. And our ADC will be able to pick up a kill and get out, luckily, from the, the Ezreal. So we're going to go ahead and pick up an assist on that. Um, th that's going to lock people down for two seconds. It does scale all the way up to three seconds. When you put more points into it, it does deal magic damage as well. Um, we're going to max this out first because a three-second lockdown is a very, very long time. So, uh, yeah. Pretty awesome stuff, really. The uh, Dark Binding is really, really good. We're going to talk more about that in a second, too. At level 2, put a point into your E ability, which is your Black Shield. Now, your Black Shield can um, shield a, a friendly target, in either you or, or any of your allies, and it'll absorb incoming magic damage. And we're going to... Here's this uh, Velkaz, actually, once again, playing really aggressive. We're actually going to bait out Ezreal because of how aggressive he's playing. There we go. We just go ahead and get the Binding down on Ezreal and pick up the kill. For, uh, for our ADC on that one, so he can get that. He's going to get quite low, but we block anything coming in from Velkos. Make sure nothing's going to hit him up. Same here, again. Make sure I'm kind of standing in front of him. Make sure nothing happens. But uh, that's your Black Shield at level 2. And uh, it prevents actually all disables as well, and it lasts 5 seconds or until the shield is depleted. Um, which is very nice. This is one of the reasons why Morgana support is very, very popular, because Black Shield works very well against certain champions. Once again, we'll talk about that in a second. Then at level 3, put a point to your Tormented Soil. It's a large area on the ground that this uh, it covers. Any enemies that step on it will take magic damage uh, per second on it. It is pretty nice. It lasts 5 seconds. Um, helpful for clearing out minion waves if you want to do that, which then you'll leech life from as well because of your passive. So it's a good way to get little bits of your life back if you want to do that. And then at level 6, we put a point into our Soul Shackles. And that is your ultimate. What happens here is you're going to deal damage, um, magic damage to the enemy if you connect your soul shackles to them. Um, obviously, you can only use it when you are around them. Um, it will slow them for 20% for three seconds. If it goes off after those three seconds, you're going to deal the full amount of damage to them. And you are going to stun them for 1.5 seconds. So it's pretty nice. You can use this for disengage and engagement. We'll talk a little bit about this more in a second, too. So those are her abilities. Max your Q, then your E, then your W. Points into your alt at level 6, 11, and 16. Here's Skarner's coming in from behind. He's just going to go ahead and grab Velkaz. Good flash from uh, Lucian to get out of turret range since he was tanking it. And uh, we're going to secure another assist for ourselves and almost pick up a kill there on that uh, Ezreal, actually, um, after we hit him with a binding. But uh, it was close, so... We're safe for now because we forced him back, and uh, that's always helpful. It's always good to go. Now let's go ahead and talk about items for just a second here. Um, we obviously are doing the uh, Spell Thief's Edge, building it into the Frost Queen's Claim um, as this game goes on. We also then did pick up our Sight Stone early on too because we want to have plenty of wards for ward coverage. Very, very helpful um, to have. Very, really, that's you just don't have to buy individual wards. It saves you tons of money. Pick that up early. So that's what we did. Um, immediately. We really want to start getting those two items going pretty quick. Now, as for your masteries, we'll just cover those real quick. We'll just slam those out of the way. A um, few different ways to do this. Uh, I usually do like a, it's like, I believe it's a 0, 14, 16, or maybe it's 0, 16, 14. We get a little bit of defense in there because Morgana sometimes is up front occasionally, um, especially in lane. You, you're, you are the bully as Morgana for your ADC, and then we pick up a little bit in the utility to help us out in there too. Um, you can resort to my Masteries videos, which are down in the description if you want to see those for all, all champions. So, 
that is going to be your uh, masteries. Now, let's talk some pros and cons for Morgana real quick because um, this is kind of important. Now, some of the nice things about Morgana support is she's really strong ag against those uh, other support champions that have lots of lockdowns and stuns, um, which is why that black shield is very important. So she does great against like a Leona or a Thresh or even a Braum to help prevent his stuns and his slows. So that's very, very good. That's what that black shield can really help you out with. Now, um, another good positive, once again, three second snare duration on that dark binding. Super good. Super good. Disengage with it and engage with that and your ultimate. So really good stuff there. Spell shield also lasts five seconds. Forgot to mention that before. Really, really, really good work there. Um, strong AOE as well. And you can build her many different ways. We're going to actually build her a little bit more towards the support AP side because uh, the damage is good as this game goes on. Now a few drawbacks to Morgana support is you usually got to have some decent practice with her before you can really get some good results. And that's usually because Dark Binding is a skill shot, and it's pretty easy to avoid. It is a slow-moving one. It's not too hard to dodge. So you usually got to trick people with using terrain against them if they can't dodge one direction by using your skill shots. So you got to remember, you know, it's a little bit harder than some of the other skill shots from other supports. Um, so you got to get used to that. Another thing, um, as much as it's a positive and it's kind of a negative at the same time, um, Black Shield will help save people's lives because it'll make them immune to crowd control. Problem is, you gotta remember to use it right away. There I actually didn't use it right away. Or did I? Oh, it's totally on cooldown. Um, well, so maybe I did. But if you don't use it right away and you don't get it on to your ally, then they're not gonna be protected. So you gotta react to it pretty quick. And even I'm guilty of not doing this amazingly. Um, it's just something you gotta learn over time. It just takes it just takes time too, and uh, you gotta you just gotta be ready for it. Really, that's that's the main thing. Um, you sometimes really need to flash to get into good positions to use your ultimates too. Those can be difficult, um, but once again, you can use this offensively and defensively. If they're chasing you, um, they're gonna take the full duration of it if they're on top of you and you're running away as long as they don't kill you in time. So that will usually make keep you safe or. We'll use it with a flash initiation coming up in a little bit, and it'll make a whole enemy team scatter, which will allow your team to then pick up easy kills as they are kind of lost in the chaos. So um, we'll get to see that later on in this video. So those are some of the nice pros and cons to Morgana. Now, as for her runes, let's just talk about those for a second. There's actually many different ways to do support runes. I'll just give you my quick recommendation um, for what I like to do. I do some of the damagey stuff. Um, I actually go with hybrid pen marks. Very helpful for your standard attacks and for all of your abilities because you should be standard standard attacking a lot with your supports. They do deal a lot of um, attack damage, base standard attack damage, because you aren't casting a ton of abilities. You should be hitting people up with your standard attacks. There we land actually a long range dark binding. Skarn's going to be able to pick up um, Ordeon, and I actually pick up the kill somehow, um, maybe with a standard attack in there. But that's what hybrid pen marks are going to do. Look at that. As for our seals, we're going to go with either the health or the or armor seals. There was another long range dark binding picking up kills. I love the long range ones. Those ones are a little bit harder to dodge actually because they usually don't see them coming in until the last second. But if they see you cast it, they're usually ready for it. So um, long range dark bindings can be tricky actually. Um, even though they technically have a longer period of time to dodge them, they just typically don't see them till it's too late. Um, and then as for our glyphs, typically go with some kind of magic resist. If you want to go with ability power because you're going to be greedy, you can do that too. And then as for our quintessences, once again, you could take AP ones, you could take movement speed ones, you could take gold over time as well. Those come down to your personal preference. I'll put what I usually take in the description where the rest of the build is at as well. Here we're going to actually face check Fiddlesticks. We're going to go ahead and lock him up. And I wanted that kill to go over to Singer, but apparently my pool under his feet was just too much damage, which really isn't that much damage, but whatever. And yeah, it's going to happen. So those are your abilities. Now, as for our build going on, we do have a Frost Queen's Claim. We have our Ruby Sightstone. Those are our first two main items. We've also finished off our boots. We have cooldown reduction boots. This allows us to cast more Dark Bindings, more Black Shields, more Tormented Soils, and get our ult up more often, which we're going to use right now. Unfortunately, RDC will die to Ezreal, and I pick up a kill on him with Standard Attack because all those minions are doing damage to him too. Um, we're 4 0 and 6 right now. Morgana does deal damage. It's going to happen. Um, I have decent AP right now, too, with the Queen's Claim, so it's not a bad thing. You know, we're at least helping the team out, and it's pretty good in in that aspect. So, But that's pretty much just Morgana on, on the face of things. 
Um, we're going to go ahead and get into that engagement in just a second where we flash forward. Now, usually when we go for those harder engages with our soul shackles and we're going to flash into a team, you really want to have something defensively to keep you alive while you do this. Now, we're going to go ahead and head back to base and start building that item. That would be the Zonia's Hourglass. We picked up the Seeker's Arm Guard portion of it because we had gold for that. This, the armor will be helpful. Also, a little bit more damage involved there, too. So we're going to be building a technically a Zonia's Hourglass next. That's where this AP side of the support build would be. And it's very good. Um, it's going to help us live. And uh, really, really helpful when you're doing those flash engages. Um, but like I said, if you just flash engage and you get them to scatter, you don't even have to worry about using um, your stasis for Hourglass. So, but uh, we won't have it finished at the time because this game will end early, as uh, a lot of them do. Because that's just how it happens. Now, after that, the build can go in a couple directions. We'll just talk about it since the game will end in pretty shortly. Actually, here, we're going to go in for this engagement. Skarner actually is going to pick up a kill, I believe, quickly on Velkos. Now, here they all group up, and the shockwave missed. So we're going to actually flash in, use the ultimate, pick up a kill immediately on Fiddlesticks. Oriana gets out. Ezreal flashes over the wall, get out of the way. Our team picks up a couple more kills real quick. I am actually going to face check then Ezreal. I will die, but Riven's going to be able to clean this up. So uh, no big no big problem there, and I pick up an assist. So, um, But you saw the ultimate. When you flash engage with the Soul Shackles, teams usually scatter. And in tight corridors, back in the jungle paths, it's really hard for them to get away. So that's a pretty awesome place, especially if your team's around. Made it safe. Oriana also missed her ult, um, so it was safer for me to do that. But uh, continuing back to the build, after we finish off that Hourglass, which would be next, you can do a Crucible if you want to help keep people alive by using its passive, helping people stay out of stuns. Um, also, a Banshee's Veil is also then nice to follow things up to because of the magic resist and the ability to then dodge things and stay fighting. It's very helpful. So um, that's going to be the build for Morgana. Everything you need to know is in the description, and I'll see all of you guys in the next build video. Here we're going to get into another fight. Stun up. The sauce boss, not sauce. And try to keep any damage between me. Soak up whatever I can. And uh, we'll pick up the first kill as a team on Nasus. And now we're just going to keep that Middle East, or, sorry, Riven stunned up and get her killed. Fun stuff. It's fun being tanky. Gotta love tanky supports.